There is a correct order of operations for loading and unloading your line set. The correct order of operations involves removing the arbor weight at the grid before we remove the scenery or load or lighting weight on the pipe. There is no other acceptable order of operations. You have to take things out in the prescribed way so that your line set doesn't become out of balance and you don't have a runaway line set where the arbor crashes into the ground or where the scenery crashes into the ground and things go back and forth and stuff gets damaged, stuff falls down on people's heads, people get hurt, people die, that's really bad. We don't want that to happen. So we follow the correct order of operations. The first order of business is call and response. I need to announce what I'm doing to the stage and I need to get a response from the stage and the stage crew saying that they are aware and that they are safe. Leg number one coming in. When I hear the announcement, a line set is coming in, I need to take assessment of where I am, what I'm doing, and what everyone else around me is doing, and make sure that I am out of the way and that everyone else around me is out of the way. And when I'm done with that, I announce that I'm clear or give some response to the operator on the rail. I hear the call, the line set's moving, I look around, clear! And that gives them the cue that they are safe to move and that I know what's happening and I'm not going to walk into that moving line set. And that I'm not underneath it in a position where if something were to become dislodged, that I would be in danger of something falling on my head. Now already this line set is out of weight because three quarters of this curtain weight is on the floor. That means the arbor is out of weight by three quarters of the weight of the curtains. If I remove the curtains before I take that arbor weight off, I am putting myself in a dangerous situation where that arbor full of weight could come crashing down. I can tie a safety knot, a pressic knot, or a snub knot, or some other method on the line set to provide additional support while it's in this out of balance mode. And I need that out of balance time and position to be as brief as possible. I would normally have two crew up on the loading bridge ready to remove the weight at the command of the lead fly rail operator. And then we would do things in that prescribed fashion. As the lead fly rail operator, when I hear the call from the upper loading bridge that they are ready to load, I need to clear the rail. I need to make sure no one's standing underneath the rail. I need to make sure it's clear at least 10 feet away and into the stage. And I'm gonna go stand 10 feet away while the loading and unloading happens. I also don't want to have anyone standing under here holding onto ropes, especially if someone is moving steel up above. That's a real dangerous situation. If that piece of steel were to come down, it could land on my head. It could bounce around among all of the arbors and scenery and ropes and stuff. And I could think I've got a safe shot to run away, but it could bounce erratically and bounce after me. I need to at least have a 10 foot or more running head start away from this area in case any steel falls. Now we practice safe procedures to make sure the steel doesn't fall. We always try to have two hands on it. We have a second person receiving so that the person taking it off can load it and pass it to the second person. But you don't want to have someone twisting the rope and adding extra pressure. That is dangerous and unsafe and should never happen. I don't want to be reaching way up here out of my arm reach. I don't want to be reaching all the way down here. I don't want to be reaching through the railings to get to the bricks. So if I need to have that adjusted, I need to lift that up or down. I need to have the crew down below do that and put it exactly where I need it before I start loading or unloading. If your line set is out of weight enough to be slipping, and this one isn't, but if it is, then you want to tie a safety knot, and that's either a snub knot or a pressic knot, or use one of the physical methods of securing your ropes and putting extra tension on the purchase line. I'm going to tie a snub knot. I'm not going to go over the how to tie a snub knot right now. I'll do a detailed video on that later. There's plenty of resources on how to tie a snub knot, but I'm just going to do it.
When I am ready to start loading and unloading, we're back to call and response. So when I hear the call, clear the rail, loading. I'm going to clear the rail and make sure no one's here and I'm going to walk away and go stand 10 feet away. And I stand here 10 feet away, keeping my eye on the rail the entire time and preventing anyone from crossing this line and going over there while they're loading and unloading. And when I hear that response back, then I can start loading and unloading. The correct order is remove the weight from the arbor first. One curtain will be two bricks. So I take off two bricks. Then the stage crew can remove one curtain. Then I take off the other two bricks and the stage crew can remove the second curtain. When I hear from them up in the bridge, loading complete, that means it's safe for me to go to the fly rail and test the line set and confirm that the weight and the line set is in balance. The order of operations can't be compromised. It has to be in the order that always keeps the weight from not becoming imbalanced, putting the line set in a position where all the weight will be up at the top and it could come crashing down. We don't want extra weight up at the grid that could come crashing down ever. If it's already on the ground and we're five feet from the ground or three feet from the ground and we put extra weight and it starts to shift down, there's a limit to where that's gonna go and we're almost at the ground. And the arbor stops at a certain point anyway as it lands into this top steel and into the head blocks. If it starts to shift and move, that means we are not paying attention to the loading and unloading and tracking the weight moved and being safe. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more technical theater content.